I'm going to install a smart doorknob on this door. This is the IU20. It has 50 user capability. In other words, 50 passwords. Um, your numbers for pressing for the are right here on the pad. It also has a key lock. And I believe that's a USB interface. We'll find out. Or there's one on it. Maybe that's not it. But uh, to be able to access it when uh, the battery dies. But it, uh, as I recall, this one could last up to two years on the batteries. Otherwise, the box is pretty nondescript. So are other people selling it? The same thing, I didn't see it, but um, anyways, this is on Amazon. So let's open up the package. And it seems like a very sturdy package. This does have some weight to it. Uh, and we here, we have the programming instructions right here. So we don't want to lose those. <laughs> I wonder if they come are also in this installation manual let's open this up yeah it's got some information i can't see it well i got the the sun's actually making it not as good as i thought it would be whoa the wind the wind she be blowing anyways so it does have some instructions here on how to program also so that's a four page document. So it looks like, yeah. Okay, we have a full page here of programming too. So, uh, oh, it's the IULock, IULock.com. So it's the, and it's the IU20. Oh, and then we also have a sticker for programming. What do you do? Put that right on the door next to the uh, lock. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get these where the wind doesn't blow them away. We open it up. We've got foam here. You can see some of the guts there. And here's the door lock. Keys. Oh, part of the door installation. The screws since I already got doorknobs in place I try to use what's already there if I can just to make it easier and uh, let me put you down oh, let's see here okay. this is the inside it looks like and what's interesting is um, Hmm. How do you lock it when you're inside? Do you have to wait for the auto lock to go? Whoops. Oh, and that's also where the uh, the batteries go, it appears. And programming or something? There's something in there. I can't tell right now. Oh, switch. So it looks like four batteries, four double A's, I believe. Or are they triple A's? Well, and it looks like the batteries do not come with it. And then the other side is, let me put this in here like this. Okay, there's that's the access for the USB for repro to add power to it. We've got the numbers. The may oh, that's just probably a light. It's probably a light. Here's all the numbers, the numbers, and the door lock. All right, so 
we'll get into installing it and uh, the, what it can do next. We got the power cord through. It definitely was. I had to <clears throat> try to get a little tool in there because it was getting the tip was getting caught inside. But <clears throat> minor thing. Now I just got to plug it into here and screw screw it in. Screws in place. Okay, <clears throat> well now we're gonna attach the wire and put batteries in it, okay. Okay, this is how it looks <clears throat> installed and uh, it's very easy. It's, uh, it seemed hard trying to figure it out from the instructions, but it's actually very easy. So for instance, I can put in a number of digits. You'll notice that it line, the background lines up. But as long as I put in the correct digits at some point, green light comes on, I turn the handle. If the green light is off now, when I close it, Close it, it's locked. So you can only lock, well, you can only open the door when the green light's on, then it goes automatically to locked mode. <clears throat> One thing I don't like about it on this installation is this is very close right here. So I see that as a potential uh, finger buster herder. But other than that, simple, you know? Enter your code and voila, you're in. Oops. And you can also use the master code of which Right now, it's just the default, but I've got to change that. All right. Well, I wanted to show you how easy it is to program this lock. And first, while I got it, got you here, I just uh, wanted to say that, yeah, I have a deadbolt on this particular door, but when you look at the other side of the door, there is no deadbolt. It was just to fill up the hole in the door. It was one of those doors I got real good deal on back in the day. So anyways, I'm gonna show you 
first of all, I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to enter the code 4357, which uh, on old telephones, uh, you could spell help, H-E-L-P. So that was kind of a, a phone that we're using one of our call centers for help. Four three five seven. So I just want to throw that in, and so we'll show you right now. One of the things I like about this lock is as soon as you enter a key, it enters in and also turns the light on immediately. Okay, so I'm gonna hit four, three, five, seven, and then the enter key, and the light comes on saying that's no good. But you notice that the also, the keypad's lit up and shuts off. The door is still locked, see? Okay. So I'm gonna show you another one, a code I entered just for this video. It's four, five, six, seven. And when green light comes on, now the door, oh, it's already locked, see? You got you don't have much time. But hey, it works really well. It's simple, easy. Let me just. I mean, you don't have to do much programming for the most part. Just going to be adding user codes. Um, so we're going to do adding a user code. And we're going to follow these steps. Enter key, one, enter key, master code, enter key, new user passcode, enter key, new user passcode, and the enter key. All right. Oh, so, let's put it into program mode here. I'm going to try to do so I can see what I'm doing while I've got the camera. So we can see. All right, so I have to hit enter, one, enter, the master passcode. Enter, the user user passcode, four, three, five, seven. Enter, new user passcode again, 4357. Enter, ah, we, that says it's good. All right, let's see if it works. 4357, enter. Ooh, all right. Well, there we go. That's how easy it is.